to get onto Epic Books for Kids so we can read some of our um, class books as well as you guys can pick your own books to read if you would like to do that. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is you're in your Gmail because I would have typed in your email address and had this sent to you and you would have gotten a an email from Epic Books for Kids. If you cannot find that, then type up here in the search bar Epic and look, it's right there. If for some reason it doesn't pop up, email me and I will send it again. We'll try it again. So this should be in your Gmail account. So go ahead and click this email and then it's going to send you a little message. You can read that, but you need to do, it gives you the class code and you need to hit student login. So go ahead and click that button and you're going to need that class code so you can go back to it if you need to on the tabs. Okay, and then our class code, it said was XBM5043. So you're going to type that in, hit go, and then my class pops up. You can click that, or it usually just brings you to my class page. And since I have your um, email address in here, I also put your name in here. So you'll just find your name, click it, and you're on my class page. You can browse through the library. There's a lot of different books on here that you can choose from. Sometimes I will assign you class books, like our first class book is the Chocolate Touch, and um, so I'll, I'll assign you those. You might have to look for them up here, so if we're looking for them, the Chocolate touch. Okay, and it brings you to this book right here. We're going to click it. And to flip through the pages, you can just go through, find this arrow. So go to the side that you want to flip to. You can click through the book. And you can even click some of these words and it'll tell you um, what kind of left what part of speech it is and then it will read it to you left. as well so if you don't know a word then you can click the word and it'll read it to you you can also do a lot of other things on here um, which it's not here right now I know you can zoom in um, you can zoom out. You can, you might be able to get it to play to you. Um, but, okay, so we have this book already in our library. We can also go to Explore. And um, here's a lot of other books. You can read any of these books. And I know there's some up here that I've heard of already that are really good. The Boxcar Children, the Goosebumps books. I know a lot of kids like the Big Nate books. Um, there's some Diary of a Wimpy Kid books, the 39 Clues, Rainbow Magic, like fairy books. Um, there's a lot. Or you can, if you know a book title, go ahead and search it and see if it's there. Not all books are going to be here, but you can search it and at least see if you can find it. And then notice if we go to my library, actually we're going to go to recents. So this tab right here, so my library and then recent, and then you can click back into your book and it marks right where you left off. You can also access these books once you have the account made. You can access these books on my classroom. It's right under um, like class library or books, um, that tab. And then here's the zoom in, zoom out thing I was talking about earlier. You can zoom in, 
You can zoom out. That's just kind of a neat effect. And then you can also do full screen. So there you go. You can start finding some books and start reading.